Hey guys, HDV here. Now, Pokemon Sun and Moon is of course all the rage right now, and with every new trailer revealing more and more information, the hype for the games gets even larger. And of course with all of these new trailers, new Pokemon are being released all of the time, usually without any information about their evolutions. With that being said, amazing artists across the internet have been creating their own concept designs of what the possible evolutions could be of all of these new Pokemon. In today's video we'll be taking a look at one of my favourite new Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon, Salandit. Remember, all of the designs featured in this video will be linked in the description below, so be sure to check out all of the amazing artists from there. With that being said, this is my possible Salander evolutions in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Let's get started. The first design shows the evolution of Salander as a Charmander lookalike with the fire on the end of its tail. This Pokemon would obviously keep the ability Corrosion, as it is what could potentially make this Pokemon a huge threat in the competitive scene. This design gives off the impression that Salander's evolution would be a very fast Pokemon, most likely a physical attacker due to its sharp claws and teeth. I really like how this Pokemon is standing up instead of on all fours whilst its cheeky grin makes it look very unique. Overall, I really like this design for Salandit's evolution and hope that Game Freak go in this sort of direction when Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are released in November. The second design for Salandit's evolution to me looks like more of a bulky, special attacking Pokemon, mainly because of the bulb-like ball on its back. I feel like this would open up to spew fire or toxic sludge out at its opponents such as Flame Burst or Sludge Bomb. Again, like the last design, this evolution would also keep the Corrosion ability for the same reason as mentioned before, and the ability to poison a Steel or Poison type Pokemon would just be so handy. I also really like this design because of the orange tints on the legs and claws showing off more of the Pokemon's fire typing, and again, would love Salandis actual evolution to look similar to this or the previous design when Pokemon Sun and Moon are released. But with that wraps up this video, I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Looking at potential designs for Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon is always a pleasure because it's really exciting looking at the possibilities. If you did enjoy the video though, please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to see any other videos like this, then leave a Pokemon evolution that you'd like to see the concept for in the comment section below. That's everything from me though, so thanks for watching guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.